Go. All right, how y'all doing? Scott, Katie, Texas, doing a Southern style. We're gonna do a demonstration on uh, a light stomp. So this is a double bristle. We call a stomp brush. Somebody, some people call a crow's foot. Um, there's a bunch of different names, but obviously it's just a texture brush. Uh, but a light stomp is a really, really light stomp. So I mixed up some mud like I, I have on my other videos. It's a light orange peel. It's really, really, really loose. And so you need your mud really loose. And I'll show you a picture when we come inside. We're going to crank the rig up. I'm going to go show you all how to do this. But uh, pretty simple demonstration, pretty easy uh, if you know what you're doing. So we're going to cut the video, get inside, and I'll show you all the rest. All right, we're back. So uh, as you can see, we've got a ceiling that uh, we had to slick out. Actually, this is a, a, another guy that couldn't get this texture right, so I'm showing him and you. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I had to slick everything out, and if you look up here, you see the actual texture. So what I want you to notice is there's not a lot of stalactites, and what I mean by that is points. So the, if you have the mud too thick when you do this stomp, it will pull that mud down, and it'll have stalactites, so you need the mud really loose. So you can apply it with a roller, but I've got my hopper, I've got my craft hopper. I'm gonna use second to last hole right here. I got really, really loose mud. So when you do, when you spray it, uh, it gives you an even, if you do an even spray, it gives you an even texture. So it's a little bit easier than rolling. Smaller areas will do a roller and just roll a real light orange peel. So Blake's gonna get this ready, one thing. So first of all, I sprayed this. So it was nice and dry. We put it on the ground like this and then I spray it with a hose and I get all of these fingers out. So before he starts stomping, we're gonna take a little bit of mud and just kind of put, put a little bit of layer of mud all the way around just like this. Otherwise, when you start stomping, it'll pull mud off. So if you have a little bit of mud on the brush already, then you can get it even and work it out. So I'm gonna plug this hopper in, we're gonna spray this and we're gonna stomp it. Twist. 
Get good on this line with orange pillows. As you can see, we're getting exactly what was there. Just keep turning. Don't miss nothing. So there it is, just have a consistent texture as far as the application of the mud. And then as you stomp, you want to just turn the bristles, not as it touches, but in between each stomp, turn the bristles. And as you can see right here, this one to this one, we are pretty good. So other than that, you let this thing dry real good. A little spot right here, buddy. One side of the can away. There it is. So that is a light salt. Um, you can do this with heavier mud and do knockdowns. There's all kinds of varieties that you can do with this brush, but this in particular is a light salt. Um, like and subscribe, share. Um, any particular textures that you guys want to know, we're in Houston and there is thousands of textures. Uh, probably going to start popping some videos on some more textures. So we're out of here. Katy, Texas, Southern style. See you next time.